I mean, generally our work falls into three areas. The first is um, really trying to support improved efficiency on access to markets. So we do a lot of work on port development, uh, border post development, and logistics infrastructure development. The second area that we operate in is really um, around trying to improve the trade environment, particularly trade facilitation. So there, a lot of work on trade automation, uh, work as well on trade policy, um, and uh, we also do a lot of work on standards and NTB removal. And then the final area, the third area of our work, is really working directly with the private sector, because in the end, there needs to be benefit for the people, and the people, um, be they small businesses, micro businesses, or large ones, need to benefit. So it's important that we hear the voice in shaping that policy response. The signing of the Memorandum of Understanding marks an important milestone in providing a framework of cooperation and partnership between our two organizations. The MOU outlines a number of areas of common interest. One of the aims and objectives of the common market as enshrined in the Comesa Treaty under Article 3 is to cooperate in strengthening the relations between the common market and other partners in order to contribute to the economic development of the Comesa region. Working closely with international and regional organizations such as yourself, national institutions, private sector and civil society organizations will enable us to promote trade by unlocking the economic potential of the commercial region through increased physical access to markets, enhanced trade environment, and improved business competitiveness. Commerce has embraced the digitization of trade facilitation and the use of technology to promote intra-regional trade within Comesa and beyond. We need to venture into technological innovations such as automation and other digital trade facilitation initiatives for improvement of cargo clearance and other uh, procedures aimed at enhancing efficiency and exchange of information while looking for ways to eliminate non-tariff barriers to trade within our region.